Well, the other guy on the defensive side of the ball who seems to, to bring it every week is Miles Garrett. Um, and when we look at the, the numbers, 12 sacks, that's first in the NFL, 12 tackles for loss. That's tied for first in the NFL. 66 sack yards, first in the NFL. Uh, and Mary Kay Cabot not appearing on that. He has probably been held more times that haven't been called than anybody else in the NFL. When, when you go back and you look at some of the video that people are showing, I mean, he's basically getting tackled on plays and, and not getting called. So he is having a very, very, very good year and, and is being talked as the defensive player of the year, rightly so at this point. That's right. He is right in that conversation this year. Now he just has to sustain it and keep it going for the rest of the season. Because if you watched Monday Night Football last night, there is a really good player nipping at his heels in T.J. Watt. T.J. Watt had uh, three sacks last night, and now I think he's up to 11 and a half. So he's right behind uh, he's right behind Miles, and he's played two fewer games. He also has at least three forced fumbles and a recovery or two. So Miles is going to have to keep uh, his foot on that gas pedal uh, to continue to try to get past uh, TJ for this very coveted award. And uh, it's not going to be easy. Uh, JJ and TJ thought that TJ should have won it last year. And I think that he's really going to make a strong pitch for it. So Miles has some great competition, but he definitely is on pace to win it himself. 